Alright, hey guys, QG Collectibles back here with another video, the first video of 2024. And in this video, I will be showcasing my best card from each of the 32 teams. I'm kind of doing this video because I like to do this video because obviously, I, uh, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, I personally collect a lot of Penguins cards. So, in my top 15 cards uh, video that I showcased at the end of 2023, um, it was almost half of it was Penguins cards. So, I kind of like to do this just to showcase a little bit more of my collection and get you guys, have you, let you guys have a feel for where I'm at, person, where I'm at personally in my collecting stage. So, uh, yeah, that would be a fun one, and uh, let's get into it. Uh, before we, I show my case my first card, uh, I did want to uh, kind of let you guys be aware that for me, in this, uh, uh, in this uh, video, when I showcase a card that maybe, like, if this, for example, if I was showcasing this card, and I was using, there's two teams on this card, if I was using this card for the Philadelphia Flyers, I'm not going to use it for the Pittsburgh Penguins as well. So if this is if I'm saying that this is gonna be my best card for the Philadelphia Flyers, then I can't go and have it as my best card for the Pittsburgh Penguins just because uh, I don't really want to have it would be really boring if I had a bunch of the same cards in a couple of different spots. So uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there before we begin. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the first card, which is gonna be from the Anaheim Ducks. My best card from the Anaheim Ducks is this Jamie Drysdale Orange Checkers. This is a card that I showcased in my top 15 cards in my collection. Uh, great looking card. It narrowly squeaked out my uh, Ink Sweaters RPA of his. But uh, yeah, great looking card and a uh, strong start for uh, this video. For Arizona, uh, this was a little bit of a harder one. I had to go back around until I finally decided to stick with this uh, six-way rookie jersey booklet from Yeedy Black 2015-16. For Arizona, it's going to be Henrik Samuelson on this booklet. Although it's not the biggest name, obviously, on the booklet, Connor Hellbuck is. I thought I'd use it for Arizona just because I really didn't have a ton of other cards for them. So, uh, yeah, this is for Arizona. And, uh, yeah, now we're moving on to Boston. Same card as last year, Jeremy Swim and Young Guns. Just haven't had a lot of uh, switch. I just haven't had a lot of Boston. I don't have a lot of Boston cards that usually circle into the collection just because not the biggest Boston fan, but Jeremy Swim is a great goaltender, so I'm glad to have his young guns. Uh, for Buffalo, one of my recent purchases, uh, this Tage Thompson, Red Rainbow Auto. Really nice, clean card. Cool. It's, all, it's cool to have a nice card of Tage Thompson just because, I mean, with his size and with his skill set, it's just a, such a fun player to watch. So, yeah. Moving on to Calgary. Uh, I recently pulled this just in a blaster that I opened on a whim. Jacob Peltier, Young Guns. Uh, pretty cool looking card. I mean, nothing's incredibly special, but it is a cool card of a good young player. Fortunately, got injured at the beginning of the year, so, uh, I, I don't know if he's back yet or not, but, uh, good young player, good prospect, so, uh, hopefully it'll be good in the future. Um, for Carolina, I decided to use the OPG Premier Pairings Dual Jersey Auto of Ryan Miller and Cam Ward. Personally, I got it for the Ryan Miller part, but for Carolina, I decided to use the Cam Ward because Cam Ward's also just a great goaltender. I uh, watched him a lot when I was growing up. So, uh, yeah, I thought it would be a nice little card to keep for to use for the Carolina portion. Uh, moving on, we have the Chicago Blackhawks next, and for them, I have this clear-cut exclusives auto out of 65 of Alec Regula. Nice rookie auto. Doesn't it's nothing incredibly special, but it's a pretty cool card, even though it's not super expensive. So a uh, nice little card. Moving on to Colorado, one of the best cards in my collection, and it's been there for some time. Kale McCarr, PSA 89, Young Guns, really cool card. I mean, just an awesome card. One of the top of my collection. It is the number two card in my collection currently. Awesome card, and uh, takes the cake for your Colorado spot. Uh, for the Blue Jackets, my number one card for them is this Yegor Chinikov Clear Cut Young Guns. Really cool card, and uh, definitely deserves a spot. I mean, awesome looking card. I love the Clear Cut Young Guns. They're one of my favorite sets to collect. So whenever I see a Clear Cut Young Guns, I usually more often than not pick it up as long as the price is reasonable. Uh, for Dallas, uh, I have this Jason Robertson PSA 8 Young Guns. Really good player. Uh, obviously, his value, he's not going for as much la as he was last year, but great young player and uh, a great goal scorer. So, nice to have the young guns of him in the collection. Moving on to the Detroit Red Wings, my best card for them 
is the Hot Prospects Rookie Patch Auto out of 85 of Anthony Mantha. Great looking card, awesome patch on this card. Uh, so yeah, that's my card for uh, Detroit. Anthony Mantha also has been catching under the radar, catching fire for the Capitals as of late, so maybe he'll stop, his stock will rise back up. Uh, for the Edmont Edmonton Oilers, I have this Bill Guerin SBX card, short print, uh, this Bill Guerin's SBX Spectrum short print, number 27 of 300. Bill Guerin was a Pittsburgh fan for a while, obviously now the general manager of the Minnesota Wild, although, like, I don't know. I've always loved Bill Guerin. I mean, his uh, he's a good, he's very good. He's a good, uh, arguably he's a good manager, at least in my eyes. Although he has not had the success of his team to showcase for it, but he was a great player when he played in uh, awesome Penguins. So, really cool card to have there, even though it's not a huge one. Uh, for the Florida Panthers, I have the Henrik Borgstrom clear cut rookie auto. Just a simple card, but it's a really cool card, even though he's not in the league anymore. So, thought I would. That that card definitely deserved that spot. Uh, moving on to LA, I have the Quinton a Quinton Byfield Young Guns. Nothing overly special, but he has been incredibly good this year. Moving on to Kopitar's wing, so uh, great to see that, and uh, hopefully he'll continue improving. For Montreal, I picked this up right after he got traded to the Penguins. It is a Jeff Petrie Silver Scripts short print out of twenty five. Pretty cool card. I mean, I pick, obviously he didn't have the greatest tenure at the Penguins, as a lot of the people who uh, Ron Hextall traded for didn't. But uh, overall, still a great play. Still was a great player for a really long time. So nice to have a cool little card of him. Moving on to the Minnesota Wild, and predictably, uh, this was the number four card. Of my, this is the number four card in my collection currently. Although that can is prone to change. Marco Rossi PSA nine clear cut young guns. I said I really like the PS the clear cut young guns. Uh, and the look of them and everything. I mean, when I pulled this one, it just brought my love of the card to a whole different level. So, cool card to have it for the Minnesota Wild. For the National Predators, I have this Philip Tomasino Young Guns. Nothing overly special, but a really cool card. So, uh, yeah, that's holding the National spot for right now. Now, moving on to the New Jersey Devils. And this was also my top 15 cards video. This Dominic Hasek, Martin Berter, Billy Smith... Twig Sigs Triple Auto. Uh, really nice card. Numbered out of five. Awesome. Marbreder, my fa one of my favorite goalies of all time. Uh, so, yeah, great card to have in the collection. Moving on to the New York Islanders. Currently my number five card in my collection. The Ilya Sorokin Rookie Paramount Premier RPA out of 49. Amazing card. Just really clean. And not, really just a really clean, awesome card. Um... Yeah, just an awesome card. Good to have it in this spot. Another oh, massive pull on the channel. If you want to go check out the video that I released. It was uh, in this early December I released that video. Biggest One of my biggest pulls on the channel. Uh, moving on to the Rangers. I have this Alexi Lafreniere. Champs Rookie Green Auto out of 25. PSA 9. Awesome card. Uh, really nice. And uh, yeah, definitely deserves a spot. Uh, for the New York Rangers, so a uh, nice card to have at uh, in that spot. For the Ottawa Senators, got another Young Guns. It is the Philip Gustafson Young Guns. Uh, had a really rough start to the year. Like, last year was an incredible year for him. This year he had a really rough start to the year, but he seems to have found his groove. And then he got injured, so we'll see how the see how it plays out. But a great, a great young goalie probably will be a future starter in the league for a very long time to come. Uh, for the Philadelphia Flyers, I got a pretty unique card coming. Uh, pinnacle, uh, starting six pinnacle from Pinnacle, a uh, uh, jersey card of Miko Koivu, Valtteri Filppula, Duncan Keith, Timu Solani, Mika Kiprasov, and then obviously for the Philadelphia Flyers, Mark Strait. Really cool card. Picked this up at a card show in the early sum early summer. So a really cool card, and uh, excited to have this one in the collection, even if it does have a flyer on it. Obviously, this being me, me being a Penguins fan, not the hugest fan of the Flyers, but yeah. Uh, talking about being a Penguins fan, my next card for the Pittsburgh Penguins, the biggest card in the collection by far, the Sidney Crosby Splendor Patch Auto out of 27. Beautiful card. By far my biggest and by far my favorite card in the collection. I mean, it's just an awesome, clean card. I just It's just an amazing card. I picked it up at the Nationals this year. Awesome card to have. Moving on to the San Jose Sharks, I have this Timo Meyer Clear Cut Base Auto. Just a nice little card. Um, cool to have in the collection. Just a nice, 
clean autograph of a good player, so good to have that in the collection. Uh, moving on to the Seattle Kraken, I have this black Jordan Eberle short print auto from SB Authentic 21-22. Really nice card. I mean, just an amazing looking card and a nice one to have for Seattle. Moving on to the St. Louis Blues, I have this Joel Hofer Young Guns. Really don't like the look of these young guns when it's just like them standing behind a bland gray background instead of like an action photo. But overall, great young goalie. Um, just has a very promising future in the league, is especially uh, on St. Louis if he can really take the reins from Bennington. But yeah, nice young guns there. Uh, moving on to Tampa Bay, I believe this was also in the spot of Tampa Bay's last year which is the Andre Vasilevsky Premier Swatches jersey out of 99. Really, I mean, it's a basic card, but it's a pretty cool card. Uh, Vasilevsky, obviously, is still, in my opinion, still the best goalie in the league until the reins are clearly taken from him. Like, Sorokin had his moments last year where he was the, like, I, you can make a strong case that he was the best goalie in the league. This year, he kind of had a little bit of a rough start, but then really reined it in. To me, unless he really shows his dominance consistently over a couple of years span like Vasilevsky did, Vasilevsky's still the best goalie in the league. Same thing with Shosturkin. Like, Shosturkin just hasn't been as consistently great as Vasilevsky was. Like, he's had he's had moments where he's been better than it. Like, that Vesna winning season, he was better than Vasilevsky by a country mile in that season. But for me, until somebody is consistently greater than Vasilevsky, uh, for me, he still holds a spot as the number one goalie in this sport. So, yeah, but I'm sure he will it'll be taken sometime, probably by one of his Russian, uh, by one of his uh, Russian buddies, in uh, Igor Shosturkin or uh, Ilya Sorokin. But uh, yeah, great card to have in the collection. Uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, I have this Opichi Marky Rookie Foil uh, card of William Nylander. A really cool card. It's just a short print from Opichi. Like they have, this is not an Opichi Platinum card. It's just a foil card from Opichi. Uh, just a really short printed card and a uh, really nice card as well. Uh, had it in the collection for a really long time. So, uh, yeah. Uh, for Vancouver, held the spot last year. It kept it this year. This uh, Jer Ryan Miller uh, jersey card from Ultimate Collection, numbered out of 149. And, uh, yeah, really nice card. And, uh, yeah, it's a really cool card. Oh, this is number. Sorry, it's numbered out of 199. I was thinking of another card. But, yeah. Uh, cool card, great goaltender, one of my fa another one of my favorite goaltenders, but uh, yeah. Uh, and Vegas, another card that held the spot last year is Logan Thompson Young Guns. A lot of Young Guns in here. Is, I mean, that's just what I'm gonna have for some teams, just because I open a lot of the uh, Series One and Series Two. But nice card, good young goaltender, probably a potential starter in the league, hopefully for his for him one day. Uh, Number one spot for the Capitals, this Ilya Samsonov goaltend or Ilya Samsonov Young Guns. He has had a horribly rough start to the year, but uh, like going down on waivers and with his, the, he I watched some Leaf games and they've just he has been horrendous, especially as of late. So uh, hopefully he figures it out down there. I'm sure he will, and then he'll just be hot and cold in the NHL like he always is. But uh, hopefully he figures it out. But for right now, to Good card for the Caps until I get another one. And then the final card of the video for the Winnipeg Jets, my best card from them, is this Connor Hellebuck Clear Cut Future Watch Auto. Really clean card. I mean, I love this card so much. But, uh, yeah, that'll finish off the uh, video. Uh, my uh, next, next video will be another pack opening, so we'll get right back into that for 2024. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, check – and uh, – yeah, have a good one.